here we want to determine what type of graph this particular equation will be. Because of the constant in front of x squared, it doesn't fit any equation yet. But if we divide everything by 16, we'll get x squared plus y squared over 16 equals 1. And now we can see that it fits the form of an ellipse. So this will be the graph of an ellipse, which is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. And in our case, a is equal to 1 because we could put this over 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. And b is equal to 4 because 4 squared will give us 16. Well, that means our major axis this time is under y. And so that means our ellipse will be long ways up and down, vertical, because y is the major axis. And looking at this then, what we have is to find the center. Well, since it's not x minus h or y minus k, that means h and k are both 0. So therefore, if they're both 0, that means it's centered at the origin when we have no additional coefficients. So our center of our ellipse is here. And we can count a units up. Um, I'm sorry, a units is your x. So we go one unit to the left and to the right for an ellipse. And now b is 4. So we go four units up and down so that our ellipse will flow through smoothly through these points. If we wanted, we could also find the foci in order to know where the points are equally distanced from there, or we can just wrap through the different points this way. If we wanted to find the foci for this one, we'd have c squared, c is a distance from the center for our foci, and it would be a squared, I'm sorry, b squared minus a squared, which would be 16 minus 1 is 15, and taking the square root of that, then we'd have plus or minus the square root of 15, which would be more than three units in each direction, very close to each of our endpoints.